What's up guys, today we will be going over the Mountain Top, which is the new pinnacle weapon in Season 5 for Crucible and Competitive Playlists. First I want to say thanks to Sood for letting me get some gameplay on his account to see if it's worthwhile in PvE for us PvE players out there, so I appreciate that a lot. Go check him out on Twitter, top of the description, and in the comments. So this grenade launcher has lightweight frame, which is definitely a plus, has hard launch or volatile launch, and I'm not sure which one's better. I think the velocity is already high enough that the bottom one's a better option. You have spike grenades or sticky grenades, and PvE spike grenades is obviously the better choice because of the extra damage on direct impacts, and I believe the same can be said about PvP. It also has rangefinder, and also its unique perk, Micro Missile. This weapon fires in a straight line and has a massively increased projectile speed. So in this video, we're going to look at it in PvE and see if it's worth the grind and actually decent in PvE or not. So let's begin. This gun is unlike any other grenade launcher in the game. It almost fires more like a rocket launcher than any where it goes in a perfectly straight line forever and has no damage drop off or anything like that so it almost acts more like a rocket launcher but in grenade launcher form if that makes any sense it is a breach launcher which only has one bullet per mag but let's go ahead and talk about the ammo reserves normally it only has eight but with one grenade launcher reserve perk it now goes up to 10 which is two more grenades which is a decent amount and unfortunately Sue does not have a class item with grenade launcher reserves, so I cannot see how many it would hold with two, but I'd imagine 11 or 12. Now let's start talking about the damage of this weapon. It has sticky grenades or spike grenades, so let's test the difference between that first and the damage, because I've actually never done that on my channel to see what spike grenades actually do. So without spike grenades shooting, I hit 2694 and 1242. Then going ahead and putting on spike grenades, I now hit 2694 and 1862. So putting those numbers up on the screen, spike grenades result in 15.8% more damage but only on direct impacts, which you should be going for direct impacts with this gun anyways because it fires in a straight line and no drop off or anything like that. So let's test the rate of fire now, shooting off all 10 shots, see how long it takes. It takes roughly 6.311 seconds to shoot off all 10 shots, so the damage per second of this weapon is 7,219 with spike grenade direct impacts, which isn't too bad actually for a special type weapon. For testing purposes, let's compare it to a drum type grenade launcher, for example the Prospector, which is exotic, so looking at how much damage it does per shot. It also has this like little burn tick thing after the end, and it's 4564 damage per shot. So actually almost the exact same amount of damage per shot as the mountaintop. Now let's test the rate of fire, and this has full auto, so shooting off all 8 shots took 2.602 seconds, meaning the damage per second of this weapon is 14,032, which is almost double that of the mountaintop, which is a breach grenade launcher. Not only do drum grenade launchers destroy breach launchers in terms of damage per second, you also have to factor in how much ammo they carry. The mountaintop carries 10 with 1 reserve, meaning 45,560 total damage if you shoot off all 10 shots in this law sector, compared to the prospector, which does the same amount of damage per shot, but can hold up to 19 with 1 reserve, meaning 86,716 total damage if you shoot off all 19 shots with 1 reserve perk. So the only thing really going for this grenade launcher is the fact that it shoots in a straight line, almost like a rocket launcher, but there's a lot of things in the game that shoot in a straight line, like every bullet-based weapon, you know, rocket launchers. So that's not necessarily anything too unique to make it actually stick out in PvE necessarily. Overall, these things have a lot of the same issues as shotguns in PvE, where the low rate of fire ones don't really do that much more damage than the high rate of fire ones, resulting in a huge spread in damage per second. And not only that, these breach launchers carry much less ammo than their drum counterparts resulting in way less total damage output. So it's pretty clear they're balanced around PvP, but almost all the PvP feedback is we don't like these things and we don't want them in the game. So I don't really know what Bungie's plan is with these breach grenade launchers. They're not balanced at all in PvE, and no one likes them in PvP. One thing I did learn making this video is that the Prospector is a serious threat in terms of damage per second. So probably look out for a Prospector vs Strike video soon. That sounds pretty fun. Anyways, let me know if you have this weapon, what you think about it in PvP or PvE, and if you did not have this weapon already, do you plan on getting it at some point for PvE or PvP? Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.